has a slight effect on her ovaries, yeah? You don't want her brain in your kids, mate, I'm telling you. No, it's to do with the gravitational pull. You know, like tides and stuff, yeah? So, the moon is full only once a month. How do you explain her being permanently screwed? All we do is get Hal and Petula together. We take a photograph, send it anonymously to Vinny and Bob's your proverbial dad's brother. Simple. One, we haven't got to come. Two, Petula won't do it. Three, Hal won't fall for it. And four, it's immoral. What? So you think Petula's going to give you the old heave ho? Looks like it. But that's good. Thanks, man. No, no, I mean, you know, you can use that. Make her feel guilty, so she'll do it. And don't worry about how. He'll be like a rat up a drain pipe. And remember, this is for Vinny's own good. Oh, isn't it strange that what's good for Vinny is coincidentally very good for you also? Well, God helps those who help themselves, mate. Huh? Mm. Right, here she comes. You do the necessary. And uh, t t tell her it's a stag night prank or something. Yeah. Here we go, lads. Cheers. 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 Right. We're going to play some blackjack or what? What about Mr. Mac? Ah, oh, don't worry about him. He's busy getting dumped. Is that Petula? That is the monkey. Listen, Mac, um... I really think we should cool off. Just for a while. Yeah, whatever you say. Not for good, you know, just, um, just for a bit. It's George, isn't it? Yes. This is as far as it goes, all right, Trev? The lads down the station don't need to know. All right? No one is going to find out. Is that fully understood? Yeah, but what if Petula sees you? I'll go through the back, through the kitchens. What's wrong with your face? It's just not right, George. It's just not right, that's all. Listen, Trev. This bloke's been screwing my wife. Yeah, I, I don't mean that. What then? Well, I just don't see why I can't drive. It's my van. I don't like the way you drive. I used to drive a taxi. Clocked up 150,000 miles without a scratch. I've done more miles in reverse. So shut it. What is it with Mac, anyway? How come he only goes for married women? Again, again. Oh, Jesus. Because he's got some sense, right? It's funny where she came from. He's a swimming coach, right? So every year there is another influx of frustrated married women to satisfy. It's cracking. Mac reckons they are good value, right, and hassle-free, yeah? Now, some of them might have a few miles on the old clock, but if they've been well-maintained, like our Petula, they will run and run. Female equivalent of the diesel engine, I suppose. Now, the thing is, you can only take them out for a run now and then, so you don't get too used to the handling, you see? There's usually just one careful owner, so they really appreciate being taken for a good spin around the old circuit. Now, Mac says, with the right coaxing, you can invariably get top speed, but you've got to tune the points properly, know what I mean? What? What have I said? What? Listen, babe, it's me. Would I do anything? I mean, it's only a joke. No one's seen the photograph except the four of us. Yeah, well, they better not. The last thing I need right now is for George to see a photo of me and some bloke doing, you know. Well, you don't need to do anything. Anything. You know. You're damn right. I'm not going to do anything, you know. Jesus. No, you just... We can take the photograph and then you just make your excuses and... Simple. Banker. No way. That's my job. I deal. I have always dealt. That is what I do. Yeah, that is the point, man. You always deal. Oh, for God's sake, let him deal. All right, which one is he? The one about to deal. But he's supposed to be my day. Go on, get him in. Okay, I've got him. But 
Do it quick. I don't want to be stuck in there with him all day. I am supposed to work here, you know. All right, get a bit, I'll go to take a leak. Surrounded. I just hope he goes for it. He will be in like a shot, believe me. I need some air. Uh... I'll get some crisps. I got a feeling called a blue loads and for baby say goodbye. And I don't know what I'll like do. This. All I do is sit and cry. Oh, 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 that last long day she said goodbye. Lord, when I thought I'm gonna cry, she do me, she do you, she's got the kind of love, and Lord, I love to hear it when she calls me sweet baby. Such a beautiful dream. Oh, shit. Jesus. I hate to think it's all over. Go on, get him in. Yeah. Uh, I'm out of funds, Hal. <laughs> yeah, right. Could you send me a 20 till later? It's <laughs> all? Yeah. You lot are supposed to be buying me the drinks today. I know. It's my day. Yeah. I, I am the one getting married. I am not supposed to be paying out. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Right. What we need to do now is wait and watch the pieces snap into place like a well oiled machine. Chris? No, thanks. Right, and all you need to do is take the photograph. No way, mate. No way. You can't use cameras. Every time you take a picture, it comes out fuzzy, all right? That's your department. Time for you to get your hands dirty for a change. Kind of orange squash, please. Orange squash? Going getting rough, is it? I'd like to pace myself. Really? Mm. I like a man who can pace himself. A man who can go the full 12 rounds. Is that strong enough for you? It looks fine. You sure? Better check. Go on. Yeah, all right. I'll take my varnish off. <clears throat> so you and Mr. Mac have finished, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's all over. We're just, um, good friends, you know what I mean? But it's left a void deep inside me. Do you think you could fill that void for me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think. I mean, sure. I, I, may, maybe it's <clears throat> under the right circumstances. Good. Well, go to the gents' labs, check there's no one in there, and wait for me outside, OK? Well, uh, normally I'd be happy to, but uh, we got this schedule, um, you see, and... <clears throat> Forget about the schedule, it won't take long, and, um... Anyway, I need this void filling up now. Go on, then. I won't be long. Yeah, right. Do you want these? down quick and you can say, watch this. Have you got a problem with that? No. Sir. Clumsy git. Oh. 
Just salty. He's not the type to fool around, is he? Yeah, perhaps that's the problem. He's too predictable. God, I'd love to inject some excitement into the relationship. Thank you, lucky stars, if I were you. Yeah, well, I wouldn't mind if I was getting a decent jag out of him. I thought you were all right in that department. Serious. We're salty. Well, I don't know. He's probably bending Ted's ear about that fucking Clodagh. Oh, but what, you don't like her? Well, she's using him, you know? You reckon, yeah? Yeah, of course. But Clodagh can't do without a boyfriend, right? So instead of dumping salty and starting afresh with someone new, she'll keep on going out with a poor sucker until someone better comes along. She just goes from bloke to bloke to bloke to bloke. I guess it's a, uh, it's an insecurity thing, you know? Yeah. I suppose she's got the next one lined up, has she? Oh, I don't know about that, but... Hey, hey. If she has, we are gonna be ready for her. Check this out. Oh, shit, that's disgusting. Hey, we've all got to eat. Yeah, but we don't dislocate our jaws and swallow our food whole. What's that in its mouth? Oh, that is, <laughs> that is Roy the Rat. Bet you that's not strictly accurate. Right about now, it's a semi-digested rat. You fed one of Clodagh's rats to your oh, snake. No, 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 no. It wasn't me. It was salty. That's the whole point. He was pissed. And naturally, you didn't encourage him, no? No, he didn't need encouraging. Uh, not gonna show that to Clodagh, are you? No. Thank God for that. No, I'm gonna show her this one. It's actually got salty in it. Look, Mac, um, I want you to help me get out of this wedding. What? Yeah. No. Oh. Hi, boys. Holy hell. Hi. My day. It's my stag. You two are not supposed to be here. Well, what are you whinging about, Harry? Nothing. Don't call me Harry. We're looking for a blue port job, right? Yeah. It's just that butt. If you find one, don't tell him for Christ's sake. They'll close us down. Mm -hmm. 
Are you going to piss before Christmas? Oh, yeah, yeah, I certainly, certainly hope so, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, don't stop. It's my husband. What's with the camera? What camera? Oh, the old oh, distance. I don't know. I just, I just, just, just like taking photos, that's all. <clears throat> so you are a pervert? No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. So why bring a camera into a toilet if you're not a pervert? I, I take it everywhere, usually. What's that in your hand? It's my penis. Your other hand, prick whip. It's just it's nothing. Nothing. CID. In the right moment. Oh. Open the door, you slapper. <laughs> Jesus, Clugger, thank Christ you're here. I think Hal needs some help in the gents. Jesus, Clodo, thank Christ you're here. I think Salty needs some help in the gents. Her fly's stuck again. No, someone's giving you a really good hiding. Should I take your coat, Clodo? Oh, lucky. Hello, Minnie. Hi, Ted. Hi, a quick word. Ted, what, what happened? Oh, Ted. Ted. Uh. that of our year. You've made a big mistake, love. Girlies are next door. <laughs> We're leaving. Give my jacket. Come on! Number 27. Yeah. That's mine. I suppose you've seen George knocking about, have you? Yeah, he's, um, he's in the loos. Right. Oh, and could you tell him from me that if he gives me any grief, I'll tell the lads down the station who gave him the slapping? Julia, can you put that in a doggy bag? Too subtle. Now that Vinny's here, we can adopt, you know, the direct approach. Forget it, Ted. Just let Vinny sort her own life out. She knew exactly what Hal was like when she agreed to marry him. Look, I'm not asking you to do anything radical, Mac. Just back me up, right? And I will weave an ingenious web of suspicion, mistrust, and uncertainty. Count me out, man. Mac, look, I, I wasn't actually going to show you this, but I don't think now I've got any option. Now, I know you've known Hal a long time, but sometimes you don't really 
know someone. Do, do you know what I'm saying? I haven't a clue what you're talking about, mate. Mac, this, this, uh, look, this is going to be tough, right? But I think, I hope you can handle it. It's number 57. It's highlighted in pink, which, as it happens, is is quite appropriate. John Fleming. Well, that, that's obviously a mistake. It's, it's surely it's John or John. Or... Read on and weep, my friend. Oh, my God, it's not a mistake. Vote. Hal swings both ways, mate. He bowls from the pavilion end. Look at the date, Mac. Two days ago. I'm really sorry. Just now. Well, I didn't see you. That's how I got this, right? So I'm not to mention the girl then? No. You don't mention the fucking girl. You never saw her. She was big. Yeah, sure. And what's that? Oh, no. It's just. Take away? No, not really. It's just. Oh. Well, you've eaten, I haven't. George, we've got to get to work, man. There's plenty of time. What can I drive? All right, press it. What was that, a uh, woman doing in the toilets? What woman? Press it again. It's uh, works as so a barmaid or something. Salty! Mr. Maxfall, been having an affair with his barmaid, but she's married. And uh, her husband, that was the man that was strangling me, uh, thought I was him. And uh, so she came in to help uh, because she thought he was going to beat up Mr. Mac. But when she gets in there, she obviously sees me and not knowing that I'm Adam, me, from, not knowing me from Adam, she doesn't give a shit about me if I'm going to get beaten up or not. And then you come in and get the wrong end of the stick. Simple. Ooh. I'm dry. It's your one. That's dense. I freely admit it was a big mistake. I don't know what happened. I just... Seemed like a good idea at the time, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, she's a cracking looking girl. You've got to admit that. And sensational in the sack. I mean, really, really sensational. Oh, she's got a great sense of humor. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. A bag of fun. That's a ball of fun. Hmm? Ball of fun. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I meant. And she's very clever as well. Oh, exactly. Potentially, major breadwinner, you know? Well, sometimes you think, am I really likely to get a better combination than this? But now you've got cold feet. Frostbite. How come? You know me, Mac. <laughs> you know, how long's it gonna be before I get pissed and wake up next morning in bed with someone who isn't Vinny? <sighs> now, these last few months have been a, a complete nightmare. I mean, you would not believe the opportunities I've had to turn down. I can imagine it, yeah. Lola, I'm gonna do it. Stop! 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 Stop!